The 16-year-old lived at the centre for six years. The centre is currently home for 20 young girls. There's a similar boys only centre several kilometres from here. She walked into South Africa at the age of 10 with a group of other children in search for greener pastures. Back in Zimbabwe, she lived in abject poverty with her ailing mother and younger siblings. I don't wish like, to go to Zimbabwe. I mean, I'll go, but then I feel at home here. Yeah, I don't miss anything. Like, since I was told, uh, all I wanted was to go to school. But then, here yeah, I'm going to school. I have nothing to worry about. She dreams of financial freedom and the ability to provide for her siblings, as well as to give back to the centre she calls home. When I grow up, I want to be an actress. And when I'll be an actress, my first innings will be like I'll donate it here to other children because I, I know that other children the same age as me who have been here too. So they know I want to donate them something to, to make them feel at home like I did. The centre has been inundated with requests to take in children that have been abandoned in recent weeks. But with lack of funding, it has no choice but to turn children away. We've got a lot of pressure. People need a uh, request our intervention so that we can take kids to come and stay here. But we've got a problem that at least at present we have a problem with funds. And then we're afraid if we take more children without resources, again we, we, we will cause more problem of, of, of not able to feed them or take care of them. Shelters for older people have also been turning away stranded foreign nationals. Biman Baloi, SABC News, Mosina.